What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas M. And today I'll be going over my uh, Bluetooth keyboard uh, for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Um, I did a video um, a couple months ago on the, the uh, same keyboard but it had black keys. Now this one has white keys. It's a Mac style keyboard so let's go ahead and take it out the box and um, let you see it. Before I do that, let me go ahead and turn on my note take off my bookshelf case for my note that's what mine came with um, and that's what I primarily use so let me go ahead and turn this on here and guys I use this keyboard for um, casual use it's casual this is not a, I, I wouldn't recommend this every day um, it can serve as a case but not really because it's not it doesn't keep it secure but anyway here it is you guys will look at it I prefer this one because it, it you know it matches my note with the white keys a little better I do prefer the black keys but I don't have a black note so alright and like I said it's lightweight it's flimsy you know this cost me about what 25 bucks on eBay now guys there is an official one that Samsung makes for the note that goes from I think from 80 to 120 dollars you can go ahead and buy that one but for those of you that want to save money and would use the key, uh, keyboard for casual use then you can't go wrong with this now right there is the charger it comes with right and it's the same charger as your Samsung phones um, whether you got a you know S2, S3, Note 2 uh, cell phone um, it uses the same charger there so you know this is just an extra one for me since I have a Galaxy S3 let's go over the uh, functions uh, the buttons on here real quick this is your on and off this is a connect push button to connect to Bluetooth and then um, when you do that well I'll do it now to show you it should flash blue when you hit connect this is your charge light it charges orange I mean when you put the charger in it's orange and turns off when it's charged this is the famous kickstand button see this is what it looks like from the back see and yes the back is silver okay so let's go ahead and put this pop this baby on there actually actually before I do that I'm just gonna put the case on like I did on my um, other video I'm gonna put it on backwards um, just to show you now I will tell you this from the looks of it it will block your IR blaster you know the little sensor thing the remote thing that you use the peel app for looks like it does block that not a big deal to me I don't know if it's a big deal to you but you see the headphone jack still clear you see the SD card clear you see the volume rocker and the power on and off clear uninterrupted by the case you have the charging thing clear charging port so and um, which side is it I guess it's this side this is where you would charge the keyboard now see I'm gonna see how easy it comes off comes off very easy so would I use this as a case heck no heck no this is a casual use device that's what that's what I would call it it's not your everyday I don't know what some of you have to type that much that you would need a keyboard for any tab or any note or any pad every day um, this is not a laptop it's not a notebook it's just a tab let me put it on the other way so you guys can see alright so the sensor part goes this way and put it on so let me show you how easy it comes off see if I lift it up it just popped right up so yeah this would not serve as an appropriate case so see the case the uh, screen is covered the IR blaster is covered but you have access to everything else no big deal all right let's go ahead and put the case I mean the device on the keyboard 
just popped up the kickstand of course um and i can put it this way but like i said on my last video it would probably fall yeah it's not even it's not even holding that way so let's try let's put it up this way yeah i'm sorry about that all right so we got it on now we're gonna go ahead and do the shake test you know it, see it fell so see you can't it's very easy to fall so you got to make sure that you don't have anything you know around that can knock it off like i said this is for casual use that's why it's 25 dollars folks and the link will be in the description to the Samsung uh, official keyboard, which again is $80 to $120. Knock yourself out and go buy that. Let's go ahead and get this paired up here. Oh, what I forgot to do is I'll turn this thing on again and hit the uh, connect button. Okay. So... Now I'm looking for Bluetooth. Is it already connected? No, it's not. Okay. So I'm going to look for Bluetooth. Right there. Let me see if you guys can see it a little better. Uh, I tap that. And right there I'm connected. Now guys because this is my second keyboard that um i hooked up uh second bluetooth keyboard it's a, it's causing me to enter a code for the second one which is this every time but if you only attach one keyboard uh bluetooth keyboard to your device you'll only have to do this um the type in this code type in a code one time and that will be it but if the second time when you do a second device you're gonna have to do it every time on that second device i don't know why but i do know like for instance uh this is rooted um so when um when i you know update my device to whatever jelly bean or whatever comes out and wipe it clean and then pair this again then that that problem will be resolved and i'll only have to do it once and it's it's fine it's only when you have when you pair the same type of device again then it's going to cause you to put in the code every time unfortunately all right so this is what it looks like when it's paired and so let me focus down here so i'm gonna hit the home button goes home see that if I hit the volume button it'll turn up the volume oh you couldn't see that I'm sorry and I go down it'll turn down the volume you know stuff like that so let's proof that it, it it works I could hold down the shift keys to change you know um, pages so forth Okay, I can, uh, let's see, I can click on something, I don't know, click on the internet, I can click the back button right there on the bottom next to control and go back. Yeah, it, it, it works with, the, uh, with, you know, the Samsung features um, because it is cut for Samsung. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. show you that's what it looks like see the kickstand right there <clears throat> that's what people will be seeing and I guess I mean pretty much um, that's about it um, like I said it's the keyboards about 25 bucks it is what it is um, it's not the sturdiest um, you can't put it this way well you can but it probably would fall if I just tilt it a little, it probably would fall. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend you doing it that way is all I'm saying. I really wouldn't. But it did it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Go home. Boom. So that's it. That's all I got on my review on my white keys.
a Bluetooth uh, keyboard. I did a video, if you guys haven't seen it, on the, um, the one with the black uh, keys. Um, I did that a couple months ago. But I, I figured I'd get this one since it matches my uh, note a little better. All right. But if anything, uh, thanks for looking at my video. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe and um, just look out for other Samsung videos that I'll be making in the future. Later.